Hello everyone, welcome back to Automation Engineer channel. Today I will talk about the DCS and the Siemens DCS, Siemens BCS7. First of all, what is the DCS? DCS is stand for Distribution Control System. That's the system control and supervise the big process. So what is the difference between the PLC and the DCS? At first glance, the difference between uh, PLC and DCS is uh, the scope of control. We have the machine, small process, or uh, one filling and packing line versus with the big process or a plant. DCS not for the machine, small process, or uh, one line. DCS for the big process or a plant. Okay, now we come to detail of comparison between the PLC and DCS. This is the basic PLC system and this is the PCS. This is the DCS, yes. The first difference is application. The PLC just for the machine, small line or single pack. DCS for the big process or plant. The second difference is complexity. The PLC is simple, but the DCS is, is continuous and complex. DCS more than uh, two controllers, thousands of I.O. and hundreds of few devices. The third one is about the cost. The PLC is low cost, but the DCS is high cost. We need to pay for many controllers, I.O. and few devices, and the server, the computer, the network component, and the license for the software. The next one is about the, the core of system. For the PLC, the core of course is PLC. But for the DCS, the core of the system is the SCADA, mean the supervisory and data analyzing. The next one is processing speed. The PLC use direct connection and less device, so the process speed is fast. How about the DCS? The DCS is lower with the thousand of equipment and a lot of data transfer through many stations such as uh, PLC server, SCADA, device and I.O. The next difference is about the supervisory layer. The PLC we don't have. We just need a panel for control. For control. But the DCS, we must have to manage big and complex process so we need the supervisory. So those are the difference between the PLC and the DCS. Now we come to understand about the Siemens DCS. We call Siemens PCS7. First of all, the structure of PCS7. The first layer is OS. This means operation station. This is the core of the PCS. With this layer, the, op the operators can control, monitor, and see the warning, the alarming of the operation. They also can use the other resource on uh, OS to do the analysis to get a better operation such as the data, the trends, etc. In the second layer, we have three packs as parallel. The first pack is the data server. This server has the function in transferring the data between the OS and the controller. For example, the data is analog value from the temperature sensor then transfer from the controller to the data server and from the data server to SCADA in OS to let the operator know about the temperature on site. The 
The second example is when the operator press the button on the scanner to open the valve. This signal will be sent to data server and come to the PLC and PLC will export the current and the voltage to control the valve open on site. The second part in this layer is engineering station we call ES. For automation engineer, this is the work play. This can be a server or a computer. Which the ES automation engineer can do. Can do config the controller, the I.O., the field device, the PC station, the servers. Can do uh, can create the project to program the logic for the PC. Design the scatter, set up a network, config the communication between the PLC with other device, and uh, can download and deploy the project to the PLC OS and server, and some administration tag. The third pack is historian server. This can be a server or a computer has the function to store the historical data that can be used for trains or other tools to improve for the operation the next layer is controller they have the function to get the data the data from the IO that's connect to the field device or from the equipment via industrial connection such as Ethernet for fibers. After getting the data, controller will transfer to the data server to show on the OS or store in the historian server or serve for programming and troubleshooting in the ES. Parallel controller also get the command get the command from OS via data server to control the device or directly from the ES to support for troubleshooting and improvement. The next level is input-output module. This is the connection between the PLC and the field device. And at the bottom is the field device such as the sensor, the valve, the contactor, the encoder, etc. One more thing is about the communication between the OS, the server, the ES, the PLC, the I.O., e Ethernet. Another name is Profinet. For the few device, PCS7 support with the few bus protocol. So, this is the structure of the schematic PCS7. Now we come to the come to some controller often used for the PCS7. The first is the CPU410E. This CPU used for, used for small application with around 200 PO. The second is a CPU410 58 used for the big application. And the third is the CPU410 O S I S U for the safety application. And about the Profinet I O module, there are four best options: the CFU, the CFU, the ES two hundred SP, ES two hundred SB S A, and the final is ES two hundred I S B for the the ATEX zone. The next one is about the software to build the Cmatic PCS7. The first software is the uh, hardware config. We use this software to config the PC station. The AS, it means automation system and communication network. Next software is NetPro. It's used for setting up the communication between the OS and AS. 
and the next one is simple editor for entering and viewing on the IO simple and for the process and the sequential control programming we have a CFC and SFC and the final one for the scalar design we have the wing CC on this software Simon already integrated on in one with the Simonic manager and the end some industrial application for Simonic PCS7 we have the wastewater treatment system uh, we have the medical and chemical manufacturing the paper beer and drink also in the cement and glass manufacturing so it's done for the cinematic pcs7 introduction i will create a video for each layer and software let's subscribe my channel to watch more video thank you